Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter three of our enchanting tale. Today, we're diving into a world where the festival is in full swing, laughter and music filling the air like a symphony of joy. Picture this, a town square alive with the magic of winter, snowflakes dancing in the crisp air, and at the heart of it all, an ancient mirror shimmering with an ethereal glow. This isn't just any mirror, folks. It's a paradox, a beautiful object that holds the weight of sorrow and reflects the town's deepest fears and regrets. So, buckle up as we explore the mysteries and emotions swirling around this captivating scene. Let's get started. The festival reached its zenith, a cacophony of laughter and music swirling around the town square like the snowflakes that danced in the crisp winter air. Lila Thompson stood at the forefront, her heart pounding with a mixture of excitement and trepidation. The ancient mirror loomed behind her, its surface shimmering with an ethereal glow that seemed to pulse in time with the rhythm of the celebration. It was a paradox, this mirror, an object of beauty that held the weight of sorrow, a reflection of the town's collective fears and regrets. Eli Ramirez, Lila's best friend, stood beside her, his brow furrowed in concentration. The flickering shadows within the mirror twisted and turned, revealing faces of the townsfolk, their expressions a tapestry of anguish and longing. Eli's skepticism had begun to wane, replaced by a dawning realization that the mirror was not merely a relic of the past but a living entity, a vessel of the town's history. As the children gathered around the mirror, Martha Jenkins, the festival organizer, stepped forward, her warm hazel eyes glistening with unshed tears. The memory of her late husband flickered within the glass, a haunting reminder of love lost. Yet, in that moment, Martha felt a surge of strength. She understood that grief was not a burden to bear alone, but a thread that wove the community together. Lila took a deep breath, her curly chestnut hair framing her freckled face like a halo. She stepped closer to the mirror, feeling its pull, its invitation to confront the fears that had haunted her. We need to help it, she whispered, her voice steady despite the tremor in her heart. Eli nodded, his warm brown eyes reflecting a newfound empathy. Together, he said, and the word hung in the air, a promise of unity. The children joined hands, forming a circle around the mirror, their hearts beating as one. As they focused on the swirling mist, the spirit bound to the mirror began to take shape, its sorrowful visage emerging from the depths. It was a figure of both beauty and despair, a reminder of the pain that lingered in the hearts of the townsfolk. Lila felt a surge of compassion, understanding that the spirit was not an enemy but a reflection of their own struggles. In that moment of clarity, Lila spoke, her voice ringing clear above the din of the festival. We see you. We understand your pain. You are not alone. We are here with you. The words resonated, echoing through the square, and the spirit paused, its flickering shadows stilling as if contemplating the truth of Lila's declaration. The atmosphere shifted, the tension that had gripped the festival loosening its hold. The townsfolk, drawn by the children's courage, began to gather around, their faces a mixture of curiosity and hope. 